you all in Perth. Thanks. Working at the mill, never fail in the mill, yet come a rotten bill. Too much for the business, too much for the business. Talking to me, trying to run me up a creek. Say, you can buy it, go and try it. You can pay me next week. Ah. Too much for the business. Too much for the business. Too much for the business. For me to be involved in. Blind, half good looking, trying to get me hooked. Want me to marry, get a home, settle down, write a book. Too much for the business. Too much for the business. Up, going to school, no need of me complaining, my objections overrule. I too much for the business, too much for the business, too much for the business for me to be involved. miles have been covered on the first day with relatively few problems. Day two, Monday the 8th of June, saw the convoy head towards Edinburgh via the fourth bridge.
Right, well, we're now in Princes Street, Edinburgh, on Monday morning at quarter to 11. The cruise is about to get here. It's not here yet. We've had a little trouble with the police, but we've sorted them out. Um, we're not allowed to park here, which is a shame. So we're all going to come down the high street. Uh, we've got the Starcraft set up, and we're waiting for them, and they should be here any minute. So, apparently the weather would get a bit better. Okay, it's lunchtime. It's Strathclyde Country Park. It's Glasgow, Monday. <coughs> Pretty trouble-free run this morning. Not a lot of hassle except going through Edinburgh, where the police didn't give us an escort, so all the cars got broken up. But so STV were there to film it, and we understand that's actually gone on air at lunchtime and is going on again tonight. Among the uh, strange vehicles actually part of the cruise and going all the way is what can be described as the school bus. It's this yellow creation behind me, and in fact uh, we're going to nip on board and shoot some live footage. <laughs> As you can see, the living quarters are a bit cramped. <laughs> Smell of alcohol in the air. Of course he's the word, of course. Ah, no, this is the living. <laughs> so how's it been so far? Yeah. Slow. Yeah, good. Yeah. I know, we keep seeing a pass you, we are always ahead of us when we get somewhere. Uh, we take yeah. chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, we take well, if you're going to leave us behind, we're going to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> so we overtook on the hill coming up from John O'Groats first day. Christ, well, they're never going to get to Inverness till four in the morning. <laughs> right, we're not there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, yes. So it's been fun, is it? Oh, yes. 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 Lots of fun. <laughs> so you just dossing down inside there every night? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it smells like it too, believe me. <laughs> Strathclyde behind them, the crews headed south to Carlisle for the night stop, but it was an early rise on Tuesday the 9th of June and Nick Duncan, the promotions manager, had to face the cameras. Nick, how did all this come together? Well, it all started with a small piece in uh, Strip Machine magazine, which is our magazine. Um, we basically said, hey, we're thinking of doing this trip from John Gretz Land's End. Is there anybody else out there that was interested? And the mail just started rolling in and snowballing. We then decided, well, if we're going to do it, which obviously our readers wanted to join in, let's do it for charity. So we asked our readers to nominate the charity they wanted it, the money to go to, and uh, they came up with two. They were very close. We thought it was too difficult really, to separate one from the other. <laughs> so we decided that the Cancer Research Campaign and Action for Research and Wildlife Growth should benefit from the efforts. Okay, it's Tuesday morning. It's dry for a change, and here we are in Carlisle. Uh, today it's Newcastle and on to the overnight at Leeds. One of the more unusual vehicles that uh, is following this convoy can only be described as a hearse. And in fact, we've got a couple of major celebs with us, and it's the Blues Brothers. 
Oh, boys. How's oh, things? Not too bad. No, we particularly not like, actually, the, the many unique features of this remarkable vehicle, including the manually operated wiper system. Fully functioning, of course, as long as the passion is awake. How are you enjoying it? Great. A lot of fun. No problems so far? Apart from the wipers? wipers? Nothing. Yeah? Apart from a few little leaks. How far have you come from? Uh, Essex. Essex, yeah. Uh, if I remember rightly, uh, you bought this specifically for the for the cruise, yeah? yeah? yeah. How much did this set you back? Uh, only £100. Pound. £100, pound. it's all you're coming. Uh, well, not really, we've got uh, another place worth 650 quid, so we might Is it really? Yeah. What's the number on it? Uh, 312 BMI. Great. So you're, you're well ahead already? Yeah. So what does it feel like? You're sleeping in the back, aren't you? Yes. All those other little bodies that used to be in there at one time. Yeah. Okay, no the problem. Right? Company. <laughs> it's great. And you raising money for charity as well? Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, not so bad. Got a few sponsors at home and yeah. a few more when we get back. Good. And so you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. That's the Blues Brothers and they're with us all the way down to Land's End. So, next stop Newcastle, and Tony Beadle in a buoyant mood. Fantastic, it's a really great turnout. Yeah, it's Lovely. magic. And, uh, well, it's going to get better from here on in.